So it's time to watch some YouTube TV, and then this here happens. Well, you've come to the right place. Right after the intro, I'm gonna show you how you can fix this and get right back into watching your show. Now, I don't want to keep up your time, so we're going to dive right into it. But first, I do want to mention that this video is for educational purposes only and that I've released several other, I would say, duplicate videos of this same procedure or same um, way of fixing this uh, every year. This is something that will come back. I believe it comes back every 60 days that you're not in the location off the owner's account all right with that said let's get into fixing this thing first thing you're gonna do is you want to click in click on <laughs> or in i guess the i'm in my home area button once you click on this what you're gonna see is a little address with zip code now it's a very general address but it would work better if you did know the actual address of the owner I assume in that you're a family member and you're sharing this account and you're not living in the same location they are. And what happens is uh, YouTube allows you about 60 days outside of the home area to continue using the account in case you went on a trip or a vacation or whatever. So what you need to do is tell the browser that you're still in that area and then update the account and boom, you're back in. So what you wanna do is take note of this right here. Again, if you have the actual account or the actual address, it would even be better. So I will copy and paste the Dallas, um, the Dallas information with the zip code. So the Dallas location, Fort Worth area, and then the zip code. Next, I have a site that I'm gonna go to here that's in the description. It will allow you to input an address and give you the longitude and the latitude of that address. So here, long, uh, latlong.net. Again, I'll leave this link in the description. Okay, now if you have the actual address, my friends, it's always best. Mine was this here. So I'm gonna put it in exactly the way I copied it and hit fine. Close this ad. Now it gives me this um, latitude and longitude, and based on the ping pointed location, I know that it's a fairly good location. What you want to accomplish here is just to make sure that it is within the proximity of the actual owner's um, home location that they have set. Okay, so that's what you're trying to accomplish. You're trying to say that, hey, I'm back home. You're within a certain miles of that area. Okay, so don't, um, don't just go with whatever longitude that you get, whatever latitude, whatever information you get. Um, if you can narrow down the location a little bit further, that will help you uh, tremendously. I'm looking over here, the camera's up there. That will help you tremendously. Next, once you have this longitude, latitude and longitude, Go ahead and also note that down as well. Let me bring up a sticky note so we can see it. So I will say lat, copy it, paste it there. And then I will say long and copy it and paste it there. We will need that for later do not miss this next step because I do see some feedback saying that this is not working for you and it really really should again I'm looking down there the cameras up there it really really should work for everyone if you do this on a computer right a Mac or a um, 
a PC. For Macs, just download Chrome and do this in Chrome, this next step that I'm about to do. So, you notice I have two tabs, one with the error and one with the long lat um, website where I get the numbers I needed. We're gonna go back to the tab with the error. Do not skip that step. You have to be on this tab when you do this next step. I know this video is a little bit longer than the other ones and that's because I wanna make sure that those who are having some issues fully understand exactly what they're doing. So do bear with me. So you go back to the tab that has the error. You don't have to click anything here. What you wanna do is go up to the top right corner here which you will also find on Chrome if you're on a Mac, because I'm not sure if Safari has this. So just temporarily download Chrome and do this fix with Chrome, and then you can go ahead and uninstall it. This is Microsoft Edge, because I'm on a Windows 10. So up here in this corner, and I'll show you with Chrome, here's your three dots right here, and on um, Edge, it's right here. You will click on these three dots, and then go down to more tools and go down to developer tools. There is a shortcut key that would bring you in there faster. Take advantage of that if you want. Developer tools, click on that, and then you have this window right here. It will look very similar. You can see in Chrome, I'm gonna do the same thing, click on the little three dots, more tools, and then developer tools. And you can see they both have the same thing. What you're going to be doing, uh, this is how yours should look, or on Chrome, like so. But keep in mind, again, you are on the YouTube page where you open up the developer tools. So here's the error message. Next, you're going to click on the three dots here, not the first ones up here that you did before, okay? The ones down here, which then will give you more tools again, but inside here, you have a list of tools. You want to find the one that says sensors. See, right here, sensors. And to prove you that this will work on a, a Mac, again, if you just open this up on your Chrome, so tools, developer tools, and then your three dots right here, not the, not the first ones, but these ones here with the tools. Go to more tools and sensors, you can see, identical this is what you need right here the sensor sensor okay um i have done this before let me just bring it up a little bit i have done this before so there are already some uh information here input it but you won't have any so what you're going to need to do is the first thing you're going to need to do is click manage once you click manage you want to click add location once you click add location feel free feel free to give it a name i'll even call this uh youtube tv just give it a name youtube tv and it's asking you for a latitude and longitude and that's where those notes comes right in so for latitude grab the number type it in there just like so and then the uh, longitude, which usually has a negative value, usually. Don't forget that um, minus uh, uh, sig symbol. <laughs> I was going to say minus, uh, <laughs> what was I going to say? Snippet? Hmm. Don't forget the minus sign, okay? Copy that, paste it in. Boom. All right, make sure the number is legit. So it uh, looks like I still got the extra zero that was there. That's important. Just make sure the number is fully in there. And what I'm using here is just the arrow keys to scroll back and forth. And I can see here that I also still got the, the zero that was in front. Because there's a zero there by default, and I don't want that. So let's double check the number again. Everything is good. And then for time zone, um, if you knew, if you know what the time zone is over there already, that's perfect. What you want to type then is the time zone. And if it's like standard Pacific, then you simply write US, then dash, and the word um, Pacific. Sorry, misspelled there, Pacific. It's like so. And that is it. Then you hit add. Okay. 
you can always come back and edit these if you don't know the time zone you can just go ahead and put this time zone as well or take take a look at these other examples okay the time zone is not the important part okay so there is this edit tool you can go and just edit again so you give it a name boom you're all set click the X button up here to go back once you're back here where the sensor is you have location just go ahead and click on the little drop down and you'd find the one that you created here's mine YouTube TV click on it and basically it's telling the browser that that is your location and that is your time zone again the time zone was not the important part there what do you have to do next absolutely nothing it's basically as soon as you select it like so it's in motion so the next step is not to touch anything other than to go back over here and click refresh so I'm just refreshing the you might have to refresh about three times if it doesn't take the first time okay it looks like it does um, what I've also seen happen is you click refresh and it comes back up with that same error keep it right there for like five minutes or so and just click around on the page a little bit then try hitting refresh again but at this point I can close this and all my you know all my shows are here I can now go back to watching what about this is gone got everything works as it should see yep everything is all I can it's alive all right well appreciate your time hopefully that wasn't too drawn out I just really wanted to make sure I helped those uh, that were that were leaving comments about it not working for them um, once I saw that mine had went off again, I thought it would be a great opportunity to really explain every small detail in this 2021 version. So hopefully it works for you now, okay? Do not try this on your cell phone. Um, don't do it on a tablet either. Do it on a computer, a Mac or a PC. Um, use Chrome or use Microsoft Edge and just follow the steps that I took. Also be patient with it. Uh, do a refresh uh, three, up to about three times if you have to. After you reset the first time, if you typed it in and you do a refresh the first time, it may not work right away. Wait, let it sit there on that page for about five minutes. You start seeing the background video starts loading up. Then hit refresh again, all right? Um, that's it. Catch you in the next one.